Question number 10, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Housing. How many homes does he believe will be built as a result of the Housing Accords and Special Housing Areas Bill, and what percentage of those homes will be affordable? Mr. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, many thousands. The Auckland Accord provides for 39,000 homes over three years. The Accord specifically allows conditions of consent for qualifying developments to require a proportion of homes to be for first home buyers or to be in the affordable range, but these conditions would be set by Council. The Government has successfully implemented such a requirement with 20% in Hobsonville, but is actually achieving 26%. I note, Mr Speaker, that the proportion of affordable houses built dropped from 16% in 2000 to 6% in 2008. I'm confident the Government's initiatives will reverse that negative trend. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. What does he say to the Property Council, Todd Property, the Salvation Army and the Auckland, Hamilton, Waikato and Tauranga City Councils, who all told the Select Committee that they do not believe the bill would result in any affordable homes being built, and will he keep blaming councils when his housing policy fails to deliver affordable housing? Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I simply point the member to Hobsonville, where this government is building thousands of homes specifically requiring a portion of those homes to be affordable. But I'm not going to take a lecture from the Labor Party when the proportion of affordable houses dropped from 16% in 2000 to just 6% in 2008. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. If the Council follows the processes in, his, uh, in the Auckland Accord, and the number of houses agreed to by the government is not delivered, will he take personal responsibility for the failure of his policy and will he step down as Minister? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I know that there is a strong increase in the number of houses that are being built, both in Christchurch and in Auckland. I note that the Auckland Council is delighted with the deal that we have been able to achieve with this government to get more houses built. And I also say how many members opposite are taking responsibility for the hard facts that when Labor became government, 16%. Point, point of order. Point of order. Full Mr Speaker, I asked if the Minister would take responsibility if the targets in his policy and his accord are not reached. He hasn't even addressed that. Well, you, you went further than that, though. You asked whether he'd take responsibility if particular targets weren't uh, reached, whether he'd resign. I think to expect a yes or no answer to that or, um, is, is unlikely to be delivered. The Minister has chosen to deliver the answer that he has. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Did he admit to the Select Committee that there was no way of measuring the success of his bill and if so, how will he know whether to blame the Council for the failure to meet the targets, as will inevitably happen? Uh, Hon. Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, every month the number of building permits is published. And so we will know, not just in Auckland, around the country. Although I note, in every month this year, there has been an increase in the number of building permits that are being issued. We are building... The target sets down an ambitious target of 39,000 houses, but what the Labor Party can't stand is that this government is working effectively with the Auckland Council to address the issue of housing that they ignored for nine long years. Supplementary question, Brendan Horan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, what specific steps has the Minister taken in the 15 days since he last answered a question from me to ensure that in Auckland there are sufficient town planners, tradespeople, developers and funding to cope with this promised threefold increase in houses to be built. Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I would simply point to the many initiatives that this government has taken. A key feature of the budget was our housing reforms, the special housing areas accords, the social housing legislation. Point of order. Sir, my question was quite specific. I said, what specific steps has the Minister taken? 
and the Minister's attempting to answer it. If the member would stay uh, seated and listen to the answer, I hope he will then be satisfied. Mr. Speaker, Dr. Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, we have two major bills before the House on the housing accords and special housing areas, as well as the social housing legislation. And the main grizzles I'm getting from members opposite is that we are going too fast in getting this legislation through to make a difference rather than complaints that we now hear from one of the members of the opposition that we're not going fast enough. Order, Mr Speaker. I still didn't hear any specific steps that the Order. Minister has taken. Well, the, the member needs to listen more carefully to the answer. Question number... A supplementary question, Brendan Horan. Will the Minister acknowledge that his promise of 39,000 new homes consented in three years represents an extra 50 new homes? consented every working day, and can he tell the House just how many new homes have been consented in the 39 working days since the budget? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, it's a bit rich for the opposition to be criticising the effects of the legislation that has not yet been passed that the members opposite are opposing. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Speaker, it's not my normal habit to defend that member up there, but on this particular occasion, he, he asked a, a hard but straight and factual question. Would and, sir, I don't think he deserves... Even he, I don't think even he deserves that abuse at this point. Uh, I, th I thank the member for his point of order. I invite uh, Brendan Horan to re-ask that last supplementary question. Sir, I actually take offence with even he. Well, then, then I'll I take offence at even then he. Then I'll attempt to help the member on this occasion. He asked that if there's going to be 39,000 new houses built, it's 50 a day. How many consents have been issued in the 39 working days since the budget? Mr. Speaker, the measures that the government has announced in the budget are being advanced as quickly as possible through the select committee process, and I would ask the member to support the good work uh, of that select committee and supporting that bill through the House so we can build more houses so that we can create those special housing areas. But I would further note that this year already, each month, we have seen an increase in the number of building consents granted. Question number 11, Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr.